Hi, I'm Janis and I will show you how we can aggregate traffic in an open flow network. There are two reasons to do aggregation. To save resources like routing table entries and CPU power, as well as to ease management of the network. Traditional ways to do aggregation are based on IP destination prefixes or MPLS, where we add labels to a packet and then apply our forwarding decisions based on them. In an open flow network, we can use flow granularity as the means to do aggregation. By flow granularity, we mean the amount of information we use at a switch or router to make a forwarding decision. Typically, when we refer to flows, we imply application level flows, like the connection between two Skype users, a gamer and the game server, etc. Within an open flow network, a flow can mean different things besides the typical application flow. For example, it could be a traditional IP flow for all packets destined to a specific IP address. Or a flow for all HTTP packets that come from the wireless card of another IP. Or any combination of 11 header fields from layers 1, 2, 3 and 4. To demonstrate our idea, we built a prototype application and ran it on a real network. Our open flow network at Stanford consists of several switches and hosts. Using Flowvisor, we slice the physical infrastructure for use with multiple experiments as well as production traffic. The aggregation prototype runs on such a slice and it's implemented using Knox, an open flow controller which is open source. The topology here represents a backbone network serving five customers. Think of each customer as an ISP that carries HTTP and VoIP traffic from many individuals. Customer 1 sends a few flows. The network operator doesn't care about each flow individually. He just needs to know that these flows came from customer 1. Thus, instead of having 10 flows that occupy 10 flow entries in each switch's table, he can just bundle them and deal with one flow. Besides saving network resources such as flow table entries, it's now easier to reroute or apply other forwarding policies to a single bundle rather than to each individual flow. Even better, the network operator can separate VoIP and HTTP traffic and treat them accordingly. For example, send VoIP traffic over a low latency path and let all HTTP traffic share another one. Note that throughout this process there was no change in the packet and no encapsulation the network operator was able to dynamically define flow granularity and decide how to treat each of these bundled flows. We can do similar things when all five customers have active traffic. We bundle VoIP and HTTP flows from customers 1, 2, 3, and then customers 4 and 5. And then we can decide how to route traffic and manage our network, either using a simple high-low latency path policy or our own sophisticated routing protocol. This is a simple demonstration about how to aggregate traffic on an OpenFlow-based network. OpenFlow gives us the freedom to define flows of any granularity and to control these flows in software. This lets us use network resources in a more efficient and meaningful way based on our network characteristics. To recreate this demo in your network, visit the aggregation wiki page.